Okay, a given. And a web ago. His approval in Breeders' Cup, the first two to respond. Big Bird is right there. Sergeant Tibbs, Plato, planted him looking for neat positions early on. Brom Billy. Vienna Wood is the grey, widest of all, looking to slot in behind runners. Dun Cora, Auction Kings midway back. There's no real speed on in the early stages. They're racing four and five wide around them, and Plates of Platinum now going to change his tactics. Early on, he used to go to the front. When he recently won, he came from off the speed, but Plate of Platinum darts to the head of affairs by two. Breeders' Cup second. Vienna Wood now gets up to be one off the paint. Races away third. His approval perfectly poised in fourth. Sergeant Tibbs is one out and back in fifth position. Peter Piper, Big Bird, Auction King, about seven lengths off them. Brom Billy, Caribbean Day, Dun Cora drops out to trail. No turning back for Plate of Platinum there by a length and a half. Vienna Wood and, oh, Breeders' Cup went to miss there. Looks like Breeders' Cup's gone to miss. Top of the lane, 600 metres to go. Plate of Platinum guides them for home by two. Vienna Wood's the grey back second. His approval now comes forward on the stand side. Sergeant Tibbs and in comes Big Bird. Plate of Platinum sets sail for home at the 400 metre marker. How much left in the tank? The grey Vienna Wood tries to come forward. His approval to the stand side. Sergeant Tibbs looking to run them down. Plate of Platinum, the grey Vienna Wood now applies big pressure. His approval, Big Bird on the outside. Vienna Wood, Plate of Platinum trying to come back. Gamely on the inside. Plate of Platinum, Vienna Wood, there's nothing in it. Vienna Wood with his head in front from Plate of Platinum. Vienna Wood, Plate of Platinum tries to come back. Vienna Wood by a nose from Plate of Platinum. Auction King and Brom Billy behind these. Well, Vienna Wood just keeps sticking his head down. Plate of Platinum's on the inside with the naked eye and the angle. It looks like Vienna Wood has done just enough from Plate of Platinum. Let's see as they go to the post. Vienna Wood, Plate of Platinum trying to come back on the inside, but it's Vienna Wood with his head in front. Plate of Platinum's on the inside. Vienna Wood just keeps sticking his nose down from Plate of Platinum. Here's the post, and Vienna Wood wins a close decision. From in second position, Plate of Platinum. They drew clear, three lengths, Auction King, Brom Billy, and behind these runners came Sergeant Tibbs. Three hundred meters to go. Plate of Platinum and Vienna Wood. They have a little tussle. Vienna Wood, Plate of Platinum. Vienna Wood with his head in front from Plate of Platinum on the inside. Vienna Wood, Plate of Platinum close together. Vienna Wood just keeps sticking his nose down. Plate of Platinum's on the inside. Come together for a stride or two there as they hit the line. So let's just see there. Vienna Wood, Plate of Platinum. Only a short head in it. Vienna Wood by a nose from Plate of Platinum. And let's see there that last 50 meters. Number three, Vienna Wood, just from Plate of Platinum, as we hand you back to the studio. Well, in a desperate finish, Vienna Wood has rallied and uh, Alec Forbes to win a good race. Plate of Platinum was receiving a lot of weight, but uh, hung doggedly in there but uh, Vienna Woods won it well done thanks very much Paul tough ride yeah, uh, the yeah you know climbing. Paul he, he moves up to other horse as well and then he tends to not want to go past so yeah tough ride but uh, I'm glad he got up lead pony George helps him yeah absolutely he works every morning with a lead pony and yeah it races too it's sort of the only way he'll go yeah. and uh, but anything to get them to win eh? yeah well done Ellie thanks very much well done to Alistair Nicolette and well done to Mrs Gaffney well done thank you well done Ellie yeah, this horse is running well and uh, a, a solid performance today because you've got to give a lot of weight when the kid claims four next to you. Yeah, I must be honest. Uh, when I looked at the way they penalised him for running second last time, I thought it wasn't quite fair and I did find the handicappers, but they weren't interested and I guess they're right after this. Um, but yeah, he's a game horse and he tries hard, but he's got more ability than he's showing. Yeah. You know, he should be winning easier and uh, we might have to try a pair of full cup linkers on him. Well done to Joyce. He's, you know, it's nice to see her on the course and leading a winner. And also to the team at Lamasco. Well done. Thanks, Paul. Come and have a chat, Mrs. Gaffney. I'm getting a bit old. No, it's wonderful to see you. You've had some wonderful horses over the years. Oh, and I'm very thrilled today. But I'm getting so old, like a real old lady. I couldn't <laughs> believe it. Anyhow, thanks to Alistair and to um, the, the jockey and uh, my son who came with me. And then I can't believe it was like the old days. Well, <laughs> congratulations. Hope there's many more. Yes, thanks very much. I don't know. I'll be around.
<laughs> Don't you worry. Thanks very much, right, Mrs. Gaffney. There we go, the winning owner. Joyce Gaffney's had many good horses over the years, and it's wonderful to see her. Her son brought her through to watch. And well done, Alec Forbes, Alistair Gordon, and uh, Lama's Kroll, the breeders. Well done to all of them. That concludes our weekend of racing. We're back on Tuesday at this track. Paul Lafley from the Winner's Circle.